Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I would like to test the car and its consumption when we drive with 8 km per hour and 120 km per hour. I already did that with Volkswagen e up first generation, but I would like to test the uh, second generation and then compare it with the results from the previous test. I also didn't measure the battery temperature increased when I drive with uh, 8 km and against 120 km. So in this test I would also measure the battery temperature increase and see what will be the result. Now I will do the first run. I will go around 8 km per hour. I will go on the highway 70 km in the one direction. Then I will make a U-turn and then I will go 70 km in the other direction. So the total should be around 140 km. The temperature outside, you can see here, according to the car, is 18 degree. It is a dry, good weather. Uh, I will reset the trip information here. So uh, I can start from the uh, from beginning. And you can see that the battery temperature is 19.5 degrees centigrade. So uh, let's see what will be the consumption and what will be the battery temperature when we go with around uh, 8 kilometers per hour. The trip ended and let me show you what is the uh, trip information. The travel time was 1 hour and 43 minutes. Uh, the average speed is 79 km per hour. The distance I have passed is 135 km. And the average consumption is 9.7 kWh per 100 km, which is very low from my point of view uh, what else I think that's it let's check the battery the battery temperature currently is 22.5 degrees centigrade so this is two uh, three degrees centigrade increase when we uh, drive with 80 kilometers per hour now I will do another run. I will drive with around 120 km per hour to see what will be the consumption, what will be the travel time, what will be the battery temperature. Currently the battery temperature is 20, 20 point5 degree centigrade. So let's do the test and compare the results later on.
high that I cannot make the trip to the charging station. You can see here that the, the consumption is 16.3 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, which is quite high consumption. I was expecting less, to be like 14 or uh, 12 kilowatts per 100 kilometers, but now I will re reduce the speed to 110 kilometers uh, just to make sure to uh, go to the charging station. Okay, this is where the test wheel ends. I actually ended it 4 kilometers uh, earlier before the previous test because I was running out of juice. I was just surprised of the how much consumption the car has when you drive with a high speed. Let me show you the trip information. The average consumption is 14.5 kilometers, but if I was driving all the way with 100 and uh, 20 km per hour, this will be around 15 km per hour, which is around 50% increase if you drive with uh, 80 km per hour against 120 km per hour. Uh, I have traveled 1 hour and 15 minutes. As I said, I travel a little bit uh, slower because at the end the consumption was just eating the whole battery. Uh, the average speed was 106 km per hour. The distance I traveled 132 km. Uh, let's check the battery. The battery is 27.5 degree. So driving with 120 km will increase the battery temperature with 7 degree. Comparing with the 3 degree uh, when you are driving with 8 km per hour. So that's something that we should consider when you're traveling in the long distances. Uh, traveling with, with long distances, uh, we need to travel a little bit slower because as you know, the car rapid gates pretty quickly, especially when it's hot outside. Uh, so we need, to, if we're driving, if, if we need to make, let's say two or three stops and charge on a DC fast charger, then it is better to drive slower than uh, driving faster. Okay, this is all for this uh, video. I hope you like it and you learn something. Uh, please, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon.